So we got this thing actually looking like a four-wheeler again. Right here is the last bit of odds and ends that I want to do. We've got the front bumper, front pan, front skid plate, rear grab bar, carburetor, both foot pegs, the center skid plate, the battery box, the air box, and then I've got new cables and a new brake light lens. This is the amount of hardware that I have that I need to get replated. This air box here, I had already fixed because this was all stripped out. I also have already fixed the side of this when we were working on getting the wheeler running. There's a little bit of hardware on here that could use replated that right there could use replated but other than that the rest of the hardware actually looks pretty decent i want to get the battery box painted and the plastic cleaned up we're sticking with black on all the skid plates and the pedals but this rear grab bar i don't really have any other options other than painting this silver and i've seen these silver online and i like the way it looks it seemed to be more with the four wheelers that had the white tank shields so i have a silver rear grab bar and a silver front bumper and then i got to get the plastic cleaned up i want to try to make this look nice and shiny again kind of like we did the headlight bucket and then same with this cover here for the battery box this air box should clean up pretty decent and there's already a new air filter in here all right so i got everything sandblasted i've got the front bumper here and this foot peg here set off to the side right now everything else is up there the primer is drying on that stuff so those are all good enough to to get painted but this here i noticed this bracket is bent it definitely is making a u shape here but i want to try to get that bent back a little straighter before i go and paint this and then this foot peg here this ear here looks like instead of it being good and straight it's bent out and you can tell at the bottom the brake pedal has been hitting the tube here instead of this bolt where it should be but we're gonna have to fix that so let's start beating this around see if we can get this flattened out so that got me a lot straighter this way but it kind of buckled me so i'm gonna work on getting some of the waves out of that but this is actually coming around pretty decent I bought these really big duckbill type channel locks originally for doing tires because it's really good for holding on to the, the bead of a tire. But it's working super good on this. I've already got a lot of the twist taken out of that and it's coming along pretty good. I got a little bit of waviness right there. I'm going to beat that in with a hammer, I think. I think that feels pretty good. I'm just kind of looking down these little tabs here and these looks like they could be straightened out a little bit too. I'm pretty happy with that. So that's ready for paint now. All right, so we got this foot pedal now. If I have to, I'm gonna heat this up, but I'm gonna try to hold on to it real close to where it's bent and then try to lightly but firmly beat on the backside of this here to try to bring it back down. And then hopefully that will fix that. All right, that has turned color, so she is good and hot. I don't know if this is gonna move or not. I think that looks straighter. It's getting there, I think a little more. I think I'm happy enough with that. All right, I think that looks pretty good. The brake lever is just primered, but it's dry. So I wanted to mock this up quick so I kind of move on. This looks a lot better. There's a gap in here now and there wasn't a gap there. And we're actually kind of hitting that bolt now. It's not perfect, but we're definitely a lot better than we were. I'm gonna pull this bolt out of here. That's hot. I'm gonna pull this bolt out of here and nut so we can zinc plate that. But these two are as far as we can get right now. So let's start getting the hardware off the airbox. Hey, let me hop in here. If you guys are new here, welcome. This is the toy shop. I buy a piece of off-road equipment. I get it running and then I tear it all the way apart and restore it. So if that's something you guys would be interested in, then make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. If you guys aren't new here, then welcome back and thank you. And on that note, back to the video. All the clamps and everything look good on here, so I'm not worried about that. But these four screws in this bracket, we're gonna zinc plate those. First step we need to do is hit them on the wire wheel to get all the heavy corrosion off. So let's go do that real quick. Boom, they're all wire wheeled. Now the next step is gonna be to get the rest of the rust off of everything. I have upgraded to a coffee can now, and I'm going to put all of the bolts and everything in here because we're gonna put some liquid rust remover in it. Kinda let that sit for a minute. So we're gonna let this sit for half an hour or so and come back and uh, hopefully all the rust is off of these. All right, so now that we're waiting on hardware, now we're gonna start cleaning a lot of this plastic stuff. So I was looking at this taillight cover and it's got spray paint overspray all over it. Um, it's really dirty. What I wanna try to do is I wanna try to sandblast this. Maybe if I hold the air gun way back while I'm spraying it, it'll help take the paint off and maybe revitalize the plastic a little bit. I also, it's broke here. So I think once we get it all cleaned up, I might on the inside uh, kind of push it back into place and glue it but that should take care of this i did push the studs out because those were in here like this 
and they were underneath these little flappy doodads here. So I just put it on the edge of the counter on the stud and push the stud out. So those are out. Those don't need plated because they look pretty good. So we're going to try to sandblast this. Before we do that though, I want to try to get these rubber grommets here cleaned up. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use some silicone spray and I'm going to spray it on a rag. And I'm just going to take the part or the little rubber guys and go around, get all the dirt off. It'll help kind of protect the rubber too. So it's kind of a win-win. It helps lift the dirt and it protects it. All right, so I wiped down these rubber tubes and the rubber grommets with the silicone spray. And I also hit this little guy here. The plastic seems healthy on him, so I'm not worried about it. Whereas like this here is all faded and just nasty. It's gonna need more than silicone spray to make this shine up. So next thing I wanna tackle is the hose clamps. They're not too bad a shape. What I wanna do though, is I wanna kind of work some of the dirt out of them. So I'm gonna spray some WD-40 on them. And then I'm just gonna kinda, kind of work them in and out a little bit. Then on that last pass, I'm just gonna kind of wrap a rag around it. Do the same thing again and finish wiping the whole thing off. And voila, that's clean. I'm gonna do the other two and then we're gonna start working on the damaged plastic. All right, so I just tried sandblasting it. Kind of good news and bad news. Good news is it took a lot of, pretty much all the paint off actually. And I was holding it back probably, I don't know, probably 12 inches or so I was sandblasting it. It did take all the paint off, but it kind of turned it this dark color, which I'm assuming is just dust or sand stuck in the plastic. I tried the lighter trick. All that does is kind of just, I don't know if you see that, it just kind of turns it black which isn't good. So the lighter trick won't work like it does on black plastic. See how it kind of, oh, well, I just effed that up. Anyways, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to sand this in order to get it to look pretty. And that plastic that I just smudged, I'm gonna have to clean up. So I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way and we're gonna start sanding this. All right, so I've tried everything and I can't get anything to work on this plastic. It like melts super quick. It turns black super easy. I tried buffing it. I tried the, the flame on the torch. I tried sanding it. The sanding just kind of it seems to make it dark, like it just pushes shit into the plastic. So pretty much take some carburetor cleaner, spray it off and get it clean that way. And it's just gonna be kind of uniformly white. I guess that's just gonna be it. Yeah, I don't feel like replacing this just because I've already got enough money in this. We're just gonna glue this because they don't make an aftermarket one, at least not a Chinese cheap aftermarket one. So I'm gonna end up using this. So I'm gonna glue this, stick it in the vise, and then we're gonna start working on the hardware. All right, I've got about half the stuff out of here. The other other half still needs some more time to soak. But what I'm gonna do is, this is a piece of copper wire we're gonna use for the plating. But our next step is gonna be getting the rest of the zinc plate that's originally on this off of here. So in order to do that, we need to put all these in muriatic acid. So I'm just gonna string them up like I need to for plating. And then I'm just gonna let them sit in the muriatic acid tank just like that. So when they're done sitting and deplating, then I can get them right in the plating tank. All right, so there's my first string. I'm gonna go sit that in the tank of muriatic acid. You can kind of see all the bubbles on it. That's the acid eating the zinc plating off of them. So once they stop bubbling, then I know all the old plating is off. And then we're gonna put them right here in the degreaser, which is in a crock pot because it needs to be hot. Once we let it sit in there for about 10 or 15 minutes, we're gonna pull it out. We're gonna put it here in the plating tank. Then we're gonna hook some juice to it. And then material from these plates here are gonna go on to the hardware there. So that's kind of roughly how this works. I'm definitely not a professional, so I'm not showing you any more than that. But we're gonna get these zinc plated. So so we can start getting everything on the four-wheeler. Here's all our plated hardware. We got that done. I've got these boots here cleaned up for the airbox. Now it's time for the plastic stuff. We've got the airbox there. We've got the front plastic rack. I've made this little jig for it. And then we got our battery box. So I already started on the battery box right here but I kind of want to show you guys what I'm doing. I wiped this off to try to get as much dirt and everything off as I can, but then to actually make it shiny like this, we are going to burn it. Now, supposedly by doing this, it's supposed to help bring the oils from inside the plastic up to the surface again to make it look glossy. I've also noticed it helps take a lot of the frays off the plastic. So like if there's a spot that was like drilled out or something, there's like a lot of little plastic frays all over it. This will kind of melt them back and smooth them out again, which will come in more handy with the front rack. We're just going to kind of go over this and make this all nice and deep black again. So there we have it. I am plenty happy enough with that. That's gonna look good on there. Now this is the front plastic little basket thing for the front rack. And the reason I built all this was because it was really dish shaped. So I wanted a way to try to suck the bottom back down to try to make it more flat. So this is just screwed into a two by four and I tried to get it fairly flat. Now what I wanna do is I wanna finish cleaning up this bottom surface here and then I wanna get out the heat gun and I just want, kinda wanna get everything good and kinda hot to kinda help relax the plastic because I want it to kind of stay like this. So let's get some Windex and let's get this bottom cleaned up so we can get the heat gun out. 
All right, so now that we got it cleaned off, I think we're gonna start with doing the flame trick on it, and then that will put enough heat in it that we'll see if it will stay. Also, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, but there's a little phrase all over these little pockets. The flame will help burn the plastic back and reseal it. All right, so that looks pretty decent. Now there's some blue spray paint here. I wanna try to use some scotch Bright and knock that off. But then I think we're gonna clean up the this side here now and then do the same thing with that. All right, so this is what it looked like with just hitting it with the torch and it wasn't very even anywhere. I don't know if there was paint on it or not, but I stuck it in a sandblaster and then I re-hit it with the flame and it brought it back like way better. So I'm much happier with that. The sandblaster is actually coming in handy a lot more than I thought it would for the plastic, but I'm happy with this. Now we got this crack here. I'm gonna mix up some epoxy and I'm just gonna glue that and then that will be done. And I think now we're gonna do the same flame trick with the air box and we're gonna get that looking good. And then I think we're ready to start putting stuff together. All right, so the last thing I wanna get cleaned up is the carburetor and I wanna start by just tearing it completely apart. I want to get the cap here separate from the cable. I'm going to pop this rubber boot off. Pop the cable out. Now it looks like there's a little clip under here that holds the throttle cable in. So I'm going to pop that off. All right. Cap's off. Throttle cable's here. Set that off the side. Now I'm going to get the choke cable off. All right, I'm gonna pull this plunger off just so I don't lose it in the spring. And then we're gonna set the choke cable off this side. I posted a whole video on my channel of cleaning this carburetor. So if you're curious about cleaning it, you can check that video out. All right, there we go. I got all the important stuff blocked off because I don't want to get glass beads down in any of these passageways only because I'm not gonna be able to know for sure if they're out or not. I'm gonna take the coarse sand blast media out of the sand blaster and we're gonna put in glass bead and we're gonna try to bead blast this. I know it's not gonna be as good as vapor blasting, but it's gonna be better than what it is currently. So we're going to do that on both of these. We're going to bead blast these and then start cleaning this stuff here up and putting it back together. All right, so we got it bead blasted and it actually turned out pretty decent. It got a lot of the little scaly corrosion and stuff off of this. Uh, I definitely want to go through and clean it now because there's little glass beads stuck in between these rubber grommets. So I don't want to get any beads in the hole. We're going to kind of just do this upside down. If any of the beads fall out, hopefully. All right, so I'm going to go through and clean this just like I would if I thought the carb was dirty and uh, put it back together. And then I'm going to meet you back over at the quad because we're going to start putting all this stuff together. All right, so I got the carburetor in there and he's just kind of chilling down there. There. Got the throttle cable on. We got the choke on. So the dash is done. It looks pretty good. Um, I ended up bead blasting this choke lever with the same glass bead that we did the carburetor with. And it actually works super good because there's some blue spray paint on this. It took all that off, but it also took my white out of this choke sign right here. So I'm going to leave it like that for now, but I might try to get some, get a white Sharpie or some white nail polish to fill that back in. Other than that, all of this stuff here is dry and ready to get put on the wheeler. So we're going to start doing that. All right, guys, I think that's about it for this video. Oh, uh, she's looking kind of thick now. It was kind of all skin and bones before, but looking at it now, it's kind of gotten a little thick back there and got something going on up here now, which is kind of nice. Got the brake cables all on, throttle cable, air box, battery box. I got to order a battery still. Other than that, this is most everything. So my pile here is getting pretty small. I got the racks, the exhaust. Other than that, there's just the, the tank and front plastic, rear plastic seat. So my pile to go back on the wheeler is getting rather small, which is awesome. We're gonna call that quits. This is gonna wrap up the chassis. Next video is going to be completely tearing apart the motor and getting that to look just like the chassis does so we can get that slapped in there. Oh, sit in my chair. All right, if you guys like this, then make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. And down below is my Patreon. If you guys wanna help out, you can buy a can of carburetor cleaner for the channel because we use it a lot here. So if you wanna help out, that would be awesome. But until next time, peace.